Hi, folks. I'm Steve Adubato. This is a very special event. Yes, it's virtual, but no less special. This is the 25th Russ Berry Making a Difference Award ceremony. Now, listen, of course, because of COVID-19, um, we can't be together this year. Cross our fingers next year we will. But this year we're doing this virtually. 1997. 1997 was the first year that the Rustbury Award started. Um, let's go to 2021. So that's 25 years. Get these numbers. These numbers are powerful. These statistics are staggering in a good way. Over 3,800 unsung heroes have been nominated. 380 individuals have been honored from every corner of the state. And $3.75 million have been awarded in these presentations and these award ceremonies that, by the way, by the way, I've been honored to have been moderating and hosting from the beginning. Now, some of the nominations came in before the pandemic. Some of them came in after the pandemic, but all of the nominees, all of those who we recognize in this virtual event are making a huge, huge difference in their communities. Let's take a look. Larry Abrams of Cherry Hill is founder of Book Smiles, a champion of literacy he is combating book deserts in South Jersey by collecting and redistributing books so that underserved children have a personal library at home, what Larry calls book wealth to develop good literacy skills. There are tens of thousands of children who still don't have books in their homes. We need mm -hmm. to find a pipeline. We are that pipeline. We are that bridge to get books into the hands and homes of babies and kids who don't have books. We want them to just have the hardware around, and the reading will follow if the hardware is there. We want children to become emissaries, to give baby board books to younger brothers and sisters. That's a beautiful thing. When I'm at book fairs and we're giving books to children and they kind of timorously ask, well, how much is it? Because they're used to, you know, that other um, wonderful uh, book fair organization, but oftentimes they can't afford the books or they don't have the money. And so they're kind of used to that. And then when they ask, how much is it? We say, well, oh, the only thing it'll cost you is a smile. You know, we're book smiles. What we do is we upcycle books. And that is what gives me joy. Saving books from going into the trash. Saving books from getting yellowed on shelves. And making sure that children who live in book deserts get great books too.